Happy Thursday, everyone. Today we're gonna do another sound design tutorial, and we're gonna be using the texture warping mode in Ableton. Typically in one of these videos, what I would do is I would take a sample, I would use a sound design technique to create a new sample, a texture, a sound effect, flip it upside down, reverse it, just mess around with it until it, we come up with something cool. Um, this time I'm going to take a noise proxy song of mine called Warwick, which is on Spotify, and I'm going to apply the texture warping mode to it and try to take some samples from that to use as effects. So it's gonna be a little bit more long form sound design. So let's get started. Here's the chunk that we're gonna be using. So we're just gonna use the first four bars of that. I'm going to hit Command E to cut that, delete the trimmings, Command J to consolidate it, and now we have what we want. Cool, warp is turned on automatically because it's a we consolidated it. And then I'm gonna turn the texture mode on, turn the flux all the way down because I don't really like how, that. it's not really what I wanna use right now. And I'm going to stretch this out as far as I can take it. So I'm just gonna hit the times two. It's like the doubling, this is halving. So you can make it half as long or twice as long. And I'm gonna do that until it won't let me anymore. And I'm going to play this and I will, I'm gonna mess with the grain size and see what I get out of it. Cool, so I wanna do that and record it. So let's do that. So I'm gonna make a new audio track, hit resampling, record enable, and then I'm just gonna start recording. And while I'm recording, I'm gonna be messing with the grain size. Here we go. Pretty cool stuff in there. So I can actually just delete that channel now, and now I have a new one. So I can take little chunks from this, let's see. That's pretty cool. And I can move it down here, now it's its own thing. Let's stretch it out. And I can put, you know, overdrive on it. Ooh. Little OTT. Maybe a really short delay. So you can mess around, that's just one part of it, and then I can listen to other stuff. I could actually turn that into a groove, I feel like. Let's copy that and put it down here.
Yeah, not on that channel though. So that's a quick way to use texture warping mode in Ableton. Uh, you're more than welcome to use any of the other sound design techniques on top of this to you know, reverse, add reverb, delay. Uh, you have a whole section of effects that you can do to that. You can put it in a sampler, you can put it in a grain scanner or a granular synthesizer. Have at it, have a good time. If you liked the video, hit that like button and leave us a comment. Subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more. Contact us at info at 4over3.me with any questions and sign up for our email newsletter to get notified when we do cool stuff on the website. So have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.